Hello everyone, this is Joe W. I'm reviewing now 100 hits for Gotten 70s today, which came out in 2019. I don't really like the front cover. Yeah, I mean, I like how it's purple themes and the background looks very detailed with stars and also blue and red of stars. I really like the detailing on the front cover. Let's get to the track list. Here's the track list at the back, but well, let's have a look at it inside to uh, read it clearly. And then advertising the Now app, but it's the track list we're focusing on. This one starts with Emerson, Lake and Palmer, Fanfare for the Common Man. And it's kind of meh. I mean, just an instrumental, I think. Slade, Goodbye to Jane. Yeah, Slade are a great band, and this is one of their great songs and one of my favourites. I like a lot of music in this one as well. The Mixtures, a push bike song. Yeah, it's okay. Stephanie De Sykes, Ball with a Smile on My Face. Yeah, it's quite a decent one in my opinion. Sweet Sensation, Sad Little... Uh, no, Sad Sweet Dreamer, sorry about that. It's a pretty okay. Mr. Blow, Groove and Mr. Blow. Yeah, I kind of find it a naff instrument, honestly. I also didn't really like the floaters float on. Yeah, I didn't really like the vocals, and the song's really naff, in my opinion. Hot Legs, Neon the Full Man. Sorry if I can't pronounce it. Yeah, I find it a bit bland, honestly. Fox, Only You Can. Yeah, it's okay. I like David Dundas' jeans on. Yeah, it's quite catchy. Gilbert O'Sullivan, Get Down. I thought it was quite a bit of a known song, really. But, you know, um, I, I like the music in this one. Sailor, A Glass of Champagne. I bet you'll know part of a hook from Scooters Jumping All Over the World. Yeah, I mean, I like the song as well. McGuinness Flint, When I'm Dead and Gone. Yeah, that's alright. Mungo Jerry, Baby Jump. It's quite different from the other song in the summertime. This one's a bit more like Rocky, and I like this one. My favourite of the disc is the Boo Rebets, um, Jukebox Jive. Yeah, I mean, like, it's very catchy. I like the music and the vocals in this one. The Fortunes, Storms in a Teacup. Yeah, I I know it has a hook, Pitter Palette. It's okay, I think, along with Guys and Dolls. Not the film, by the way. There's a whole lot of loving. Lindsay DePaul, Sugar Me, yeah, I didn't really like it, honestly. Pussycat, Mississippi, which I found alright, though. And we end with an interesting one, John Miles, music. I like how the music changes in this one, like, um, I like some of it. So, that's this one, and it's quite good. Follow now music. Okay, CD2, starts with Body Tyler is a heartache. Yes, I like this one, yeah, it's a good start, in my opinion. Elkie Brooks, Pearls the Singer. Yeah, I found it okay. David Parton, isn't she lovely? Yeah, decent. Gallagher and Lyle, I want to stay with you. Yeah, it's an okay one in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Brotherhood of Man, Andrew, I like this one. Carol uh, Bayer Sager, um, you're moving out today. Yeah, I found it okay. Well, as for Lieutenant Pigeon, Moldy Old Zoe, it's a strange one in my opinion. I mean, particularly the vocals, and I didn't like this one honestly. Johnny Wakelin in Zare, I quite like it. Though the next three I'm not really a fan of, honestly. The Pipkins, Give Me That Ding. The Tams, Hey Girl, Don't Bother Me. And Blue Mink, The Banner Man. Yeah, I find them all naff, honestly. Scylla Black, Something Tells Me, Something's Gonna Happen Tonight. Yeah, it's a pretty good song, in my opinion. I like it. I like it. New World, Tom Tom Turn Around. Yeah, I mean, the beginning was quite strange, but it turned out okay in the end, in my opinion. Diana Ross, theme from Mahogany. Do you know where you're going to? Yeah, I was alright, actually. Johnny Mathis with Denise Williams. Too much, too little, too late. Yeah, okay. Orin J. Stone, we do it. Yeah, I find it kind of meh. The Stylistics, can't give you anything but my love, which is my favourite of the disc. Yeah, I, I like this song overall. Johnny Bristol, Hang On In There Baby, and it's kind of meh in my opinion. Although my second favourite of the disc is The Miracles, Love Machine Part 1. Um, yeah, I like the uh, music in this one and the vocals. And we end with a pretty good one in my opinion. Um, the Moments and The Whatnots, Girls Part 1. Yeah, I'm like, um, I like how the talk sounded like he was going to rap, but um, he actually didn't. But um, yeah, I like this song overall. So far, as of this, 70s has been an interesting decade for me. Like, um, it has mixed of the good, bad, or okay ones, in my opinion. But let's continue. More detailing of the backgrounds on the right, but on the left, CD3 starts with a pretty interesting one. D.D. Jackson, 
automatic lover. Yeah, I quite like how he says that automatic lover, but um, it's a pretty good one. I like how music sounds like it's coming up to the 80s or something. The Flying Lizards, Money, yeah, I'm not really a fan of it, honestly. B.A. Robertson, Bang Bang, yeah, decent. Linda's Farm, Run For Home, yeah, I, I like this one. It's a nice feel-good tune. Mary McGregor, Torn Between Two Lovers, yeah, I find it okay, along with Pickety Witch, that same old feeling. Then we come to four of my favourites, The Motors Airport, Clout Substitute, those two are pretty good rock tunes in my opinion, Johnny Johnson and the Bandwagon, Blame It on the Pony Express, and my favourite of the disc, Jimmy James and the Vagabonds, Now Is The Time, yeah, I like the vocals in both of them, and the music really fits well in my opinion. I also quite like Andy Kim's um, Rock Me Gently. Shirley and Company. Shame, shame, shame. Yeah, and um, it's a bit meh in my opinion. For Hot Shots, Snoopy vs. The Red Baron. <laughs> Interesting title, though the song is sort of only okay in my opinion. Along with Jimmy Ruffin, Farewell is a Lonely Sound. Brian and Michael, Match Stork Men and Match Stork Cats and Dogs. <laughs> it's quite strange really, but... It's kind of meh, along with Driver 67, Car 67. I mean, I mean, the next three songs, including them, Driver 67, has pretty much talking in it. Yeah. C and, uh, C.W. McCall, Convoy. Yeah, it's quite interesting. I mean, like, um, uh, the music's quite interesting. Like, um, yeah, I quite liked it, strangely. Clarence Carter, Patches. Yeah, it's pretty okay. Then we have East of Eden. Jigga Jig, very catchy instrumental. I like the fiddle in this one, yeah. I quite liked it. Though, I didn't really like Diodato, also Splatch, Zara Foster. Yeah, a bit of naff instrumental, in my opinion. And also, it has a sample of 2001 A Space Odyssey. Yeah, but I didn't think the theme really fits to the song, in my opinion. Well, let's get to Disc 4. Disc 4 starts with David Essex, Walk On. Yeah, there's no right star, but I heard the better eight David Essex songs in my opinion, like uh, Hold Me Close, which is a well known one than this one. Silk Forever and Ever is also alright. Then we come to two of my favourites, Sweet Teenage Rampage and Bay City Rollers, All of Me Loves All of You. Yeah, I like these two rock songs. Clodagh Rogers, Jack in the Box, yeah, it's fine. Lena Martel, One Day at a Time, yeah, it's Okay, along with the new Seekers, Never Ending Song of Love, Ardeen Taylor, Indiana Wants Me, and Lobo, I Love You to Want Me. Yeah, I just, okay, not much to say about them, in my opinion. Patsy Gallant from New York to LA. I think it got interesting, you know, well, as the song went on, like, you know, it has a bit of disco music in it. Speaking of which, um, Eruption, I Can't Stand the Rain. Yeah, I like this um, one. Yeah, great disco song, in my opinion. I also like to start the boy from New York City. Then we have Shuwadi Wadi. I wonder why. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's fine. Um. You know, melody, but um, it's pretty okay. Along with Racy Lay or Love on Me. Then the three songs I'm not a fan of: The Goodies, Funky Gibbon. Yeah, kind of annoying in my opinion. Then I find the next two. Yeah, you know, not a fan of Robin Sarstead. My resistance is low. And Peter Skellen, Your Lady. Yeah. Boring, in my opinion. Vicky Lean Dross, Come What May. Yeah, it's okay. Then I found that last two kind of meh. Arrival Friends and Helen Ready and your baby. Yeah, not the most memorable last two, in my opinion. This five, Peters and Lee, Welcome Home. It's an alright start. Roger Whitaker, The Last Farewell. Yeah, it's kind of meh. Perry Como, It's Impossible. Yeah, I'd not. Really fun is one, obviously. It's just a bit boring for me. Donna, all kinds of everything. Well, I thought it was a very well known song as for Eurovision, but uh, it's a alright in um, uh, Eurovision song. Lindsay to Paul, won't somebody dance with me? It's better than uh, Sugar Me, in my opinion, but uh, it's still pretty okay. The stylistics, let's put it all together. It's fine. It doesn't beat the other one on this album, but um, it's still fine. Gladys Knight and the Pips. The way we were, try to remember. Yeah, it's okay, but um, I don't think the talking was needed at the beginning, in my opinion. Along with Manhattan's Kiss and Say Goodbye. The New Seekers Circles. Yeah, it's mm, okay. Marmalade, Reflections of My Life. Mm, it's pretty decent. 
Smokey, if you think you know how to love me, that's my favourite of the disc, yeah. Even then, it's a decent um, um, song. Yvonne Fair, It Should Have Been Me, it's alright in my opinion. Gary Shearston, I Get A Kick Out Of You, yeah. I quite liked it, along with Johnny Cash, A Thing Called Love. Melody, Brand New Key, yeah, it's kind of meh in my opinion. The Dooleys, The Chosen Few, I quite like this one actually. Esther Phillips, what a day, oh, I'm sorry, what a difference a day makes. Yeah, a tongue twisting one in my uh, uh, title, but it's okay. The next two I didn't really like, honestly. Jerry Monroe, Sally, and the Congregation, Softly Whispering, I love you. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I just had to do it because it says whispering. Tammy Jones, Let Me Try Again. Yeah, it's an okay finish in my opinion. Let's have a look at the discs. Disc 1, Disc 2, Disc 3, Disc 4, Disc 5. Overall, it's a good now spin-off, you know, featuring 70s songs that we don't usually get on compilation albums. I like it. Though, I mean, 70s is a mixed decade for me. Like, you know, it has a mix of songs that I like or not a fan of or I just find it okay or alright. But it's a good album overall as it's different. Well, that's my review on Now 100 Hits for Gotten 70s. I hope you enjoyed. Watch your favourite song of this album, comment down below, and I'll see you next video.